Day for Night, also known as Nuit Americano, is a cinemagraphic technique used to simulate a night scene, used often to avoid costly and sometimes challenging night filming. Blue filters and underexposed lenses were often employed. But of course now it's a new millennium and we can fake all that shit. So we got this photo that was taken at about four o'clock in the afternoon. So what we want to do is try and make it look a little bit more like it was taken at night. So what we want to do is drag the photo into a composition and apply a hue and saturation effect and pull the color out about 20%. Then we want to apply a curves effect and pull the brightness out of the image. So we've pulled the lightness out of this one and we've played with the contrast a bit. Now what we want to do is duplicate this layer and make the sky a little bit darker than the rest of the image. So we duplicate the layer and I'm going to mask out a, an area that is roughly where the sky is. So I'll grab my mask tool and I just draw roughly where the sky is. So I've pulled the mask a little bit wider than the rest of the sky just so that I can feather the edges. If you select your layer and press F, it'll bring up the mask feathering. So I'm just going to ramp that up. Now I'm going to open up the hue and saturation and I'm going to reset it. And then I'm going to click the colorize button and I'm going to scroll around until I get this the kind of blue that I'm looking for. And I reckon about, about 200 looks pretty good. So again, I'm going to go into the curves for the second layer, reset and play with the contrast so I'm getting it the sort of look that I'm after. Okay, so it's starting to look pretty good, but really, if this was night, then these street lamps, the lights on the cars would probably be on. So what we want to do is just make one lamp and a bit of reflection on the road, and then what you can do is go along and duplicate it and put it on all the little street lamps all the way down the street. So what I want to do is just create a new layer and add a lens flare to it. So if I press Apple Y, it brings up a new layer and you want to make it a black solid. That's okay, and we'll call it Lamp, just to keep track of it. Then we go into our effects, generate, lens flare. Change it to 105 millimeter, and then I'll go down into the blend mode and choose additive. So now what we want to do is turn it into a 3D layer and move it into its space. So I'm going to toggle switches and modes and I'm going to select the little cube which is our 3D layer and that gives us the ability to move stuff in Z space, so backwards and forwards. So I'll open up the position and the rotation parameters. So I'm going to rotate the flare on the X axis about 74. So that flattens out the look and we create this little hot spot which is what I'm after. So let's move it into place over the lamp. So there we go, it's starting to look a little bit more like a street lamp. Now let's just play with the colour and the contrast to make it even look better. So we go into effects, colour correction, hue and saturation. We want to colourise it. Now I want to apply a curves filter and pull the blue in a bit. So colour correction, curves, and we just want to pull this node across and that just sucks it all back in. Okay, the other thing that we want to do with the lamp is maybe give it an, an inner glow, just a bit of a hot spot where the light source is really coming from. So we create a new layer, Apple Y again, change the colour to a little bit of a pink. Now we want to mask out just a small section of this that we're going to move into place over the lamp. So we grab our mask pen tool or you could just grab the mask ellipse tool, drag out a little circle, select V and move it over the top of the lamp. Again press F which brings up the feather tool on your mask, feather it out and toggle back using your switches and modes down the bottom and change the blend mode to additive. And the other thing we might want to do is drag that layer underneath the lamp. So the other thing that really needs to happen in this scene is the fall off of this light when it hits the road. If the lights are on then it's brightening something up. So let's just create a layer that gives that look. Create a new grey solid. 
we want to enable it for 3D and drag it under the lamp effects. So now we need to create the light effect. We go up into effects, perspective, CC spotlight. So you can see the type of fall off that we're talking about. So let's just change that a little bit. Let's change the height to about 42 and the cone angle to about 12. Change the edge softness to about 100% and the intensity to about 200. And we want to change the blend mode to classic color dodge. There we go. Now let's move this into place. So we open our position and our rotation parameters, rotate it back on the X axis and drag it down onto the road. So there you go, there's our little technique for changing day into night. Now if this was your film and you had the time, you'd probably want to arrange for cars driving past to have their headlights on, their taillights on. You don't really want to be tracking in lights to that. But you probably would want to go along and turn all the street lights on in this set. And that would just be by duplicating the couple of layers and changing the opacity and the color balances. So there you go, there's our little technique for day for night.